somebody about to be mad. When I'm up through the night, I can't turn down the noise, say all the words out of my mind. About who I'm supposed to be, I start to believe. I can't get it right. Remember the days I let slip away, they were simpler times. Mama told me before. Hey, y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, I am your favorite girl, A. Marie. And if you already know, hey, boo, I see you. Welcome back. So, I wanted to talk to you guys. I wanted to do some talking to you guys. And sorry if, like, I'm on the lower side. My baby boy is in their sleep. But I got some things I need to get off my chest. I got some things I want to be really, really, really real with y'all about. And I got some inventory that I want to show you guys. So I just had a very, a very long conversation with my wife last night. And I had a, I've been having a mental conversation with myself for a few weeks now. And I've came to the conclusion that I'm going to do exactly what I want to do. As y'all know, and I'm about to be 100% transparent with y'all. As y'all know, I did come up with my line and I'm, I'm proud of my baby. 6120 is my baby. Like 6120 is the baby. And I really, really, really enjoy putting all the time and the effort into it but with that being said I feel like I rushed it I feel like I was impatient about a lot of things that was going on when it came down to the business and I feel like I did a rush of a job so with me saying that I knew that I would be playing around with packaging and designs and stuff like that I already knew that that's what it was going to be because I'm not one of those people that just see one thing and be like oh yeah I'm set that's it that's what I want and even if I do do that in a minute it's going to change like that's just me until my heart and my soul you know desires that and it's 100% happy with it so that's where I'm at right now I let a lot of people dictate and have commentary on the different things that I wanted to do the different packaging I wanted to do the different look I wanted to do I let a lot of people dictate that and it kind of made me shy away from some of that and now I'm just like mm-mm because it's not making me happy like it's not like that's her like it's not that so 6120 is still 6120 but let's rebirth 6120 I know we can't rebirth the date and I'm sticking to my date but let's rebrand already we're basically a month in <laughs> We're basically a month in, I know, but I just feel like it needs, I feel like I need it. I feel like that's what I want. When I say rebranding and putting everything under construction, like y'all right now, I'm still going to sell my products the way it is. But as the weeks and the months go along, y'all will see the new packaging, the new labels the new website i'm gonna have the website under construction while still live like i could still edit my website while you guys are still on the website and it'll just be changing as y'all looking at it so i was wanting to be that budget friendly online one-stop shop and 
I think I was there and getting getting it and and I think I was there and I think I was doing a damn good job but no matter what it is no matter what kind of sales I put no matter what kind of budget I put y'all just wasn't fucking with it like if you want me to be honest y'all just wasn't fucking with it and I know the product that the products that I do put on the website, I know the products that I am advertising, I know for a fact it's good shit. I know for a fact I will wear it myself. I will put it on myself like I would do it. I would do it and I do do it. I wear the fuck out of my lashes. I wear the hell out of my lip gloss and that's the thing. I'm not a big fan of lip gloss like talking about but ever since I done got into this lip gloss business period it is the bomb like I'm loving my lip glosses I have went so far and let me show y'all so like I was saying I don't went as far as this is a bag full of stuff from other small slash big influencers slash business owners and when I say business owners in real time at the moment in real time I've started out supporting the black owned businesses not to say that I will only forever support the black businesses because that's a lot if I find you like I think her name is Casey M. Queen. I want to try her stuff. I'm going to try her stuff. And it's some other uh, Illy Cosmetics. I will have their names pop up, you guys. Because those cosmetics, those small businesses, I want to try. So, I just placed an order with Bougie Barbie. And I just placed the order with Mocha P. Now, who I have already received is Shelly's daughter. I have Voluptuous Scents. She came out with a eyeshadow palette. And then the last one that I got in was Alexi Alexia's Alexia's Beauty. Alexia's Beauty. She is here. She's on YouTube as well. So for one you guys the reason why I'm showing you this is because this is a part of my personality and my this is a part of my personality and my and who I am that my wife you know kind of don't like about me I support everybody I support everybody and I go hard for everybody yes here on my channel I am a beauty influencer I'm not gonna say a guru because I'm far from it but I am a beauty influencer and if y'all haven't been watching me take a look at my channel I'm always reviewing I'm always supporting I'm always going hard for others when it comes down to this channel, when it comes down to helping somebody else gain some views, publicity, sales, recognition, everything, okay? And I'm saying this because this is the part about me that my wife just, she don't like, but she had to, you know. I know I'm doing a lot of talking with you guys, but this is the realest this is the realest I am going to be. Yes, I support everybody. And this is to friends or so-called friends. This is to family or so-called family. This is to strangers. If I see something I want to support, I support. And this is not just now because I started my business. This is before I even came up with a business. This is years prior when I will order someone's hair because they started a hair business. I will order someone's hair. Don't ask for a discount or nothing like that. Not at all. 
I want to support you. And that's what I want to do because I love you and I want to see you grow and I want to see you thrive and I want to see you win. And I want to see you make money. This is to who I've done makeup for for free, for cheap, for little to nothing. <laughs> Something you guys don't know. I don't think I really ever made it as a freelance makeup artist is because people like to take me for granted and I've always been that chick that if I could do anything I want to do it affordable if I have something that I could provide to you I'm gonna do it on the more affordable side because I've always seen the struggle been in the struggle or you know some form or fashion the low spectrum of payment people treat you like the low spectrum of that payment people will start being like oh well you can do my makeup for free or oh you know what I know I'm getting my makeup done for $35 but can you do my hair too no shade true tea where I am at now and I was just talking to my sister the other day and it basically rolled around to talking to my wife and I was like you know what when it comes down to this YouTube when it comes down to doing makeup when it comes down to this business when it comes down to any talent I have people will use my talent for their benefits but will not will not will not return the love and the favor i can support somebody down to the t to the ends when the wheels fall off but i can't get you to like a picture i can't get you to share a video watch a video comment on a video i can't get you to purchase anything when it's my time for the blessing when it's my time for the upcoming i always hear i'm such a great friend but i always get the shit end of the stick for some reason and i don't know if it's because people like to take me for granted people like to step all over me people like to fuck over me i don't know yes it always hurts my feelings when i see family members not supporting me when i've always supported them yes it hurts my feelings when so-called friends don't support me when i always support them or always have a back like if you my friend you're gonna have my back you're gonna tell everybody about me because that would be what i would do i could call you my friend but i really don't know if you're my friend and that's why i always do friends if there's only one thing so when it comes down to my brand like i said I wanted to be on the more affordable side and all that stuff and with me wanting to be on the more affordable side I didn't want to put in expensive products or pay the expensive product price to not gain a profit from it if you get what I mean I didn't want to do that to myself so for one I can say honestly wholeheartedly I feel like I rushed my business. I feel like I rushed my launch date. I feel like I rushed everything. I want to start over while still going because I don't want to hold all this lip gloss I have. I don't want to just hold on to all of the lashes I have. I want to get through what I got while working on the new me the new brand the new launch the new rebirth the new the new forever and i want to take you guys along with me the right way do's and don't don't rush do not rush i'm an impatient person i'm a sagittarius i'm impatient i've always been impatient and i've been working on it for years i've been working on it for years to calm my patients down to control my patients to be patient and i'm still still working on that i'm telling you guys i'm still working on it yes i have a lot of sales all the time just to get my name out there just to 
give you guys a sale like I love sales I love when some when I see a sale like it could be a 50 cent off sale a 50 cent off coupon I'm wanting to use that like that's me I'm wanting to use it so I so far this is my third sale and I only been open a month this is my third sale and as of real time my third sale is the 4th of July and honestly um if I'm not mistaken we're gonna throw the sale for summer because I have this new little summer vibe that I want to give you guys so and to be honest with you guys with current time July sale is going from the 1st to the 10th I've had one order and we're on the third day now I've had one order but it's cool I'm not tripping I'm still blessed I'm still happy I don't care and I want to say I don't care I do care but I don't care and that's another thing my wife said why well, sit there and worry about something you really can't control you guys oh my god you are getting on my nerves what do you want good morning you guys I know I'm looking a little cray cray but look here so the craziest thing just happened to me and I was like let me pick up the camera and let me tell my story because this has never happened to me before so um I'm in here I don't even know which part this part of the vlog will go in stop it I don't know which part of this will go into the vlogs but I don't I don't know what episode but look get this so I'm in here you know dealing with all of the rebranding rebirth I've been calling it a rebirth um, of everything when it comes to my business and stuff and I have a list of things that I need to do and I get up this morning and I'm like yes I need to do this and this and this and then I get a text message out of nowhere and y'all I'm one of those skeptical peoples that got a skeptical email not email text message saying hey this is such and such from um from UPS I'm gonna read it to you guys he hello my name is Miss Berry I'm gonna say Miss Berry I am with UPS I have a shipment that contains eyelashes going to and my last name. Please confirm if the lashes are made of mink. You may also email me at thanks. So me, I called the number because I was like, what the hell? UPS has never texted me. So I was like, what the hell is going on? So I call and when you call, the number is like hello please repeat your name or whatever and a google person would try to translate and i was like what the world so i was like okay i said my name and then the phone starts ringing and it rings and rings and rings and then it was like um nobody is able to pick up right now so i was like what the fuck is really going on so then i text back to the number and said hello like is this real hello and so the lady calls me back miss berry calls me back and she's like hey this is miss berry from ups or whatever i'm trying to see for your shipment is it mink lashes and i'm like i need to know which shipment it is because i order from everybody like <laughs> i order for from a couple of different people but um I've never had a phone call before about my lashes like what is going on and she was like okay I could give you the tracking number and I was like okay and she's like it's supposedly like ten dollars and I was like ten dollars that's not no mink lashes Miss Berry like no that that can't be mink lashes not for ten dollars so she sends me the tracking number so I look up my tracking number and I'm like Miss Berry, that's not even lashes. That is the eyelash glue. And she was like, eyelash glue? And I was like, yes, ma'am. So I sent her my email that I had between me and my vendor. And she was like, okay. She was like, well, they just wrote whatever they wanted 
on there because it's held at Fish and Wildlife Services. Like, it's being held at the moment. And I was like, I've never had this before. So then she goes to tell me about the, do I have the Fish and Wildlife Import Export License type of ordeal. And I was like, no ma'am, I'm a small business. You know, just starting out, I don't know nothing about it. And she was like, I'm surprised we haven't contacted you before or, you know, reached out to you before due to the mink lashes. I was like, yes, ma'am, because I already got mink lashes, you know, quite a few times. And she was like, yeah, I'm surprised or whatever. So she just sent me an email and I had to send her the email of what you call it, of what my actual stuff is or whatever. And she was like, I'm going to add on at the bottom how to go about applying for your license or whatever. And I was like, all right, thank you. Like, thank you so much. And then she, you know, gave me a little backstory on if I need help with anything else um, to reach out to her and all that good stuff. And that I should probably switch, <clears throat> switch, um, instead of having my my first name on everything put my business name so that it could constantly you know keep going and they'll know it's a business or whatever so i was like okay thank you so much because I, I i swear i didn't know none of this or whatever so i'm basically printing out everything that um she sent me so that i will have it i need to read it and i need to apply for this license or whatever and keep in contact with her so that's what I'm doing now, but I just thought it was super freaking weird that it was like that because I never heard of that. So yeah, I just thought it was super weird. Like, girl, you're kind of a big deal. Like what the world is going on? I just never heard of it. And I just felt like, oh my God, like for real, for real, this is really happening. Like. I've never got nobody contact me. I'm just like, whoa, I need to pick up the camera and let this be known. So for anybody else that um, is planning on starting a small business, especially when it comes down to mink lashes and getting stuff from overseas, because this shipment came from Beijing. So if anything, you guys, y'all need to look into the fish. What is it called again? It, and it's weird because I was like, what in the world is this? So it's called the Fish and Wildlife Services. So you need to get an import-export license. It's basically like a permit to get this. So you apply for it and you apply for it and you will be able to receive your shipments. But this email says, um, was saying basically they could charge you um, it says if the shipment contains mink or wildlife that must be declared and it is considered a commercial shipment, the import, the importers, the importer is charged $93 by the U.S. FNW Fish or Fish and Wildlife Services and $25 by UPS. If shipment contains mink or wildlife that must be declared and it and it is considered a personal shipment, the importer is charged 25 by UPS. US Fish and Wildlife does not charge fees for personal shipments. So if it's a personal shipment, you don't have to worry about it. You'll just be charged. Um, I need to make a new tab. You, UPS only charges you $25. The U.S. don't charge you at all. But if it's for resale or anything, you have to pay $93 plus $25. Which, I don't know if that's all the time or what, but it's there up in the air. And I will be able to tell you guys more once I read into all of it. But it is up there in the air and it is saying that you know this type of stuff can be taken as a illegal sale and stuff like that that's what she was telling me because if it is mink and whatever it can be 
set up as illegal because they didn't they didn't um they don't charge me or if i don't get that license or whatever and they find out about me selling lashes or anything like that it could become <clears throat> a illegal thing so i'm not trying to go with all that you know what i'm saying like I don't want to be illegal out here in these streets. So, I put my lavish PR girl on the website. I added her to the website because she looks so freaking good and pumps, you guys. Like, she looks so freaking good and pumps. I just, it's just so, oh, it looks so good, y'all. I'm super excited. Just to see, I, I know what pumps look like on me, but to see pumps on two other girls was like yes yes beautiful so i'm like super excited i'm glad to be rebirthing my brand and stuff and if you guys are not following me over at amb lavish underscore on instagram go check me out always look at my stories I always catch up with the video uh the post that i make on my stories i have started completely over um my highlights is more in sync with each other now and stuff like it is it's looking a whole lot better like y'all i'm dead ass i'm like really 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 pushing forward my face won't be on everything i, I got the hint i took the hint my face is not on everything so i'm changing that up as well i'm wearing my bonnet of course that's to support but um so I decided with Beauty on a Budget. So their names is going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. So if you guys are ever wearing Beauty on a Budget, just let me know if it's Monday through Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday on these because it's Beauty on a Budget. That's what I just decided. I cannot wait to give you guys this try on haul with this company, baby. I'm ready. I am ready to share with you guys what the world is going on with this clothing company. I'm like, I, ooh, I cannot wait to give you guys this review. I'm just so ready. My mom did buy me these little bitty baby mailers I thought were super freaking cute. So I will be using these for like single orders and stuff. I know holographic is my standard color but you guys i'm gonna use what my mom gave me of course i'm gonna use this if she bought them for me to use holographic and i still got the red ones and then i have these the july sale is still going on until the 10th i'm about ready to cut that shit off because nobody has ordered so i'm about ready to cut it off and say screw it but i'm gonna stick to my seal i'm gonna stick to my words stick to my seal on the 10th, I'm going to take that crap down and, and just like woosa and, you know, get over it because right now my sales and stuff is not happening like I wanted to. I know I'm new, but come on, be real. Like, what is the problem? But whatever. I'm, I'm whatever. So, yeah, um, I do have some more videos that I need to edit and stuff like that. So I think I'm just going to, you know, actually be working and i'm actually home alone the boys are gone my wife is at work so i'm actually like home alone and i need to get you know some things done so that's what i'm gonna do and i'll check back in with you guys after well good afternoon from the rainy day you guys can y'all see that It's raining. So, welcome to another day. I know you guys hear the water running. I know the lighting is looking like trash, but we got some creating to do. I just got out the shower. I haven't even done my makeup or nothing yet. So, I'm just gonna show you guys how I disinfect all of my products that come in and stuff because we got some creating to do this been on my mind since late last night and i've been wanting to do it so of course we're gonna take the chlorox mm -hmm. 
gonna put that in there. Antibacterial soap. Put that in there. Hot water. And y'all don't mind this stuff over here. There we go. Traveling, you're out on your own A million miles from home Feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders Child, don't forget who you are Don't lose your head or your heart I'll bet my life on your stars You'll be dancing, dancing on the moon